bunny. Yes. I'm going off script here to have a bizarre discussion about psychic abilities. Okay. Specifically, my massive psychic abilities, because I, I have uh, massive psychic abilities. I, I had this conversation with Natasha. A lot of times when I'm talking to Natasha or when I'm talking to Bella or when I'm talking to, to uh, Emerald, I'm actually trying out a bit for the podcast. Yeah. But this this... This conversation was actually, I was just about to jump in the shower and I was just thinking about something. And so I decided to just talk it out with Natasha and she talked it back with me and, and we had an interesting conversation. I thought, you know what? I'm going to see if I can bring this conversation into the podcast. Yes, Maxwell, you've been saying dad nonstop for about three minutes. Yes, Maxwell. Yes. Yes, Maxwell. I want uh, to rub my feet. No. Oh, you, you wanted to tell me something? Wow, that's... Tell them something. Oh, uh, okay. What do you want to tell them? Okay. I just want to say, whoever is watching this... Listening to it. Listening to this... <laughs> you should do my, uh, you know... Join your what? Team. Join your team? Yeah, and uh, so if you go go like my video, go so go go like my video and and be on my team because when you like my video, it'll you'll be on my team. Okay. I, I thought I was already on your team, Maxwell. Yeah. Aren't we? Yeah, but anybody else out there? Anybody else? Because Bunny and I are on your team, Maxwell. That's right. We are so on your team. <laughs> so, Jesus, Maxwell. Wow. Uh, Bella, can you help him pick that up? Maxwell, don't you leave it. You dropped that. You dropped that big, huge thing. Pick it up. Dude. So... Psychic abilities. Yes. I was thinking about psychic abilities. Okay, wait a minute. Is that psychic abilities or psycho abilities? Psychic. Yeah. Okay. Psychic I want to make that clear. Ability. And I've been thinking about this lately because I, I have had some abilities. I'm not saying I'm psychic. I'm just saying I, I have had a few instances in which I have seen... Uh, when I may or may not have seen the future. Yeah. And I, I honestly believe that I'm not psychic, but that it, these events are more proof than some of the people out there who say they're psychic, who are in fact uh, just lying through their teeth, like the Long Island medium and shit like that is yeah. what I'm thinking. So it, 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 just leave it just guys. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. No. I'm trying to move Share. this thing. Okay. 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 But that's not how it was. Okay. So no one can ever move the chair is what you're saying, Bella. Okay. Stop making this thing he dropped into a big thing, everybody. So bad. Jesus. So much drama in this house. So... <laughs> Like I was in a I was in a robbery what seven years ago, and uh, it, when I was about to clock in, I felt a, a a sense of dread and unease, and so I got on my Facebook page, and right before I clocked in on the night that I was in a robbery, I said, "I do not feel good. I feel paranoid, as if something bad is about to happen." I wrote that on my Facebook page. Then the right before a robbery happened, yeah, and that that is a coincidence, or it could be proof of psychic ability. Another psychic thing that happened to me um, is that I purchased this this really nice, expensive uh, collector's item toy thing that they don't even make anymore, and I, I, I bought it like during the summer, and then I hid it so that I could use it that Christmas as a Christmas gift, but then I lost it, period, and I yeah. couldn't find it. And I didn't find it again in, in, until the beginning of this year. 
and I said, hey, I found this Christmas gift from like two years ago. Uh, who should we give it to? And then I, I panicked because I got it for like a young Bella. And now she's not so young. Mm-hmm. So it's like, uh, who which, do I which give? I'm, which I'm still very upset with her about. Yeah, to, I'm, to I'm kind of, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm kind of pissed, too. So I'm like, who do I give this to? It's January. Who do I give this to? But you know what? This is what I'm going to do. We can't figure out who will give this as a present to. So we'll just we'll just put it away. I, I'll put it in my car. That way we'll you know, we won't lose it. And uh, I don't know, maybe by the end of the year, there'll be somebody in the house that's really obsessed with Inside Out that we can buy this, that we can give this to as a present. Who knows? Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know, I mean, it's already getting old, that movie. You yeah. Know, so, so, I mean, you know how so, kids are. Yeah. So what I was thinking of, what I was thinking of is I was thinking of like, oh, wow, look at my psychic ability. But then I thought this isn't psychic. It's just that I feel that I am more open to the multiverse or to the concept of multiverses. Yes. For, for example, like the other day, I pulled I pulled into the I pulled my car into the you know to the I parked it in front of my house mm-hmm. and I was going to just jump out of the car. But first I was like, oh, wait, uh, let me see if I have my phone. Oh, wait, my phone's in my pocket. OK, then. So I was about to to just uh, whip my door open and some guy just sped past going down my street, going like 55. And he was very close to hitting me. And if I had just whipped the door open, uh, an accident could have happened. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's close. But at the moment that that happens to me, where, where I'm like, "Oh, the, that that was a that was almost an accident." In my mind, I can see a, a multitude of possibilities. Yeah, like Such I can as? see, like I can see the me where the my car door got ripped off. Yeah, or I can see the me where the guy. It ripped off the car door and kept going. I can see the me where the guy ripped off my car door and that caused him to crash into uh, a house yeah. or into a light post. Or I can see the me where I flip the door open, I whip my door open and then get out and I get hit. Oh. Or I can see I can see the me that gets uh, hurt and slightly injured. I can see the me that gets killed. I can see the me where I'm fine, but this guy dies. I can see a multitude of possibilities, and that happens to me all the time during everything. If I'm like doing something and oh, I almost dropped that, I can see the me that drops that. Oh, okay. So then I started thinking, what if, like, this could be like uh, like a like a like a science fiction book or at the very least a sci-fi channel movie. Yes. What if psychic ability is real, but it's not psychic ability as much as it is seeing a multitude of possibilities unfolding in front of you, like a choose your own adventure novel. Yes. And, And being able to kind of, predict what's going to happen by seeing the multitude of and Natasha said that 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 has to be horrible every thing you do you can see the alternatives kind of unfolding in front of you yeah you can see the multiple outcomes thank you Bella yeah. that's got to be like a that would drive you insane but also, it would uh-huh. probably also keep you safe, or me, or it could it could keep you safe. It could save your life, or you could go insane, or you could probably find a way to make money off of it. Either way, that's got to be horrible. <laughs> I, I I would I would think so. I, I you know, how could it not be? Yeah. Anyway, this is just what I've been thinking of lately. There's no point to it. I have no ending. I'm not on script right now. This is just what I've been thinking of. Yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a multitude of 
of possibilities around us at all times. If you almost get into an accident, there's definitely a you out there where you got into that accident, a multitude of yous that got into that accident, and then some of them end in death. I wonder how many of me who's died so far. I don't know. What, what uh, is the death toll? Like, basically, my life is just someone out there playing the game Roy, a life well lived. <laughs> <laughs> That when I die, some kid is going to take off a helmet. Oh, 87 years, not bad. <laughs> yeah. 